are back at the swale, the, the food forest that we've planted on, on the swale at Raktamachat in central Thailand. And this is six months on um, and we were already harvesting from it. We were harvesting here some rosella, which we're going to use for tea and kombucha and jams. And it's grown really prolifically and beautifully over the wet season. The section that you've just walked through there is, was planted six months ago and that's grown really well over the whole wet season and, and now our legumes are at a beautiful few metre high height so they, they grew really well over the, while, while it was raining and now they're providing shade for our fruit trees and the understory species that are growing up underneath. Um, so as we move along the swale a bit further we can see that there's, the, this is the next section that we planted. And this section was planted about four months ago. Um, and because we had a very dry season uh, for our, during our wet season this year at Raktamachat, uh, a lot of, a few of our plants have died. So we've ended up with a, a few legumes mixed in with some um, understory trees and some other species. We've got a mulberry growing here, um, which is a fast growing um, shade tree. And this is our uh, gooseberry tree, which is our central um, tree species. And we planted, tried to plant 10 legumes per, per um, fruit tree. Um, uh, although some of our herbs and things have died along the, the ground, our um, bank stabilization has grown really well, which is our lemongrass and comfrey and the rosella. So that's really become abundant because of the, the rain that's hitting the swales. Um, and another thing that we've done here um, because of the dry season is we've uh, implemented some watering systems. So this is a, little, a slow drip irrigation system where we just fill this with water every two or three days and it slowly seeps into the roots of the plants to feed it from, from below. So if we walk up a little bit further onto the swale, this, the first section was six months old, this is now uh, four months old and if we move to the next session this was planted uh, two or three days ago. So now we have on this section loads more legumes and uh, fruit species and main tree species growing here um, and we've covered it with, all with much mulch. Now knowing that we're coming into the dry season now and we've, we've uh, the majority of the rain has finished we've plant, put in um, drip irrigation underneath the mulch and that is the most efficient form of watering this, this area because they're, they're still small so they need a lot of water to start with and it the, uses the least amount of water and it gets directly to the root system. So now we've got a beautiful drip irrigation running underneath this, this section here. So within this area we've planted um, again 10 legumes per fruit tree but we've also planted some other main species trees like some mulberries and we've got a um, moringa up there and we've got some other beautiful flowering trees. Um, and then amongst that as well we have papaya circles which will be our understory for the, this area. Um, now we've, we've thought about stacking, we've stacked in, in, in space, in thought about the size of the tree and what the stages of the size will be. Um, so for example a mulberry grow, grows fast so we need to plant things a little bit further away from that. Whereas the, um, the guava at the end is a more slower growing tree so we can plant things a bit closer to that that we can harvest for shorter times. So uh, papaya is a short lived tree and it, it needs about six uh, six females per one male for it to fruit properly and so we plant them because we don't know the species to start with we plant them in circles of about seven to eight trees so that way we're, we're likely to get um, a male and female situation going on. Um, so yeah we've planted underneath the the guava tree at the end there we've planted a load of um, sort of herbaceous species like and lots of flowers so we planted marigolds and chrysanthemum and some other legume trees that uh, specifically for the flowers to bring in the good good bugs and also protect the, the tree from predators in that form along the the bank we've stabilized it with vetiver grass lemongrass and pineapples and we also have some coconuts that will be growing out and holding the swale in as well so hopefully in a few years time with the amount of species that we've got planted here uh, we'll have a really beautiful, abundant um, forest that will, can also be a wildlife, a wildlife corridor and should provide a really diverse uh, diet for the people that are living here over that time. Um, so yeah, it's going to be beautiful, abundant and wonderful. <laughs>
mulch, like wood chips or sawdust, because that encourages, that's more mimicking a forest system, whereas um, straw is more a bacteria-based for, for vegetable gardens.